Rhapsody of realities Rhapsody of realities Giving you life for meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody Good morning and welcome once again to another reading of Rhapsody of Reality. I would like to wish you a happy new month. Welcome to the month of July. Glory be to God. Now, today is July the 1st and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, His Grace Sets You Apart. Our opening verse is from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And I read, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may bound to every good work. Hallelujah. We just read that God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessings come to you in abundance. Grace sets you apart. It brings you acceptability, honor, dignity, liberality and kindness. It attracts to you the right people, circumstances, and resources that are in line with God's purpose for your life. Therefore, you ought to thank the Lord every day for His grace at work in your life. According to the opening verse above, God makes this grace abound towards you. He directs it towards you in abundance. Even now, say out loud, I walk and function in divine grace that differentiates me in the world and sets me apart from glory and excellence. I am a child of grace. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1, Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Take advantage of His grace. Read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 from the Amplified Classic and see the will of God for your life and the results of His grace at work in you. And God is able to make all grace, every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need be self-sufficient, possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. Blessed be God. Now, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, can you raise your hand and take this confession right after me? I am piloted by grace to excel and fulfill my destiny in Christ. Every favor and earthly blessing come to me in abundance. And I am always and under all circumstances self-sufficient. Possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now for you to understand today's message better, I highly suggest that you take some time to do some further studying on these following scriptures. From the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 2. The book of James chapter 4 verse 6, the book of 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 18, and the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 33. Glory be to God. How wonderful and powerful it is to know that His grace has set us apart for all the things that we need to achieve in this life. Glory be to God. Don't forget, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do so. If you need to download this Rhapsody of Reality in any languages of your choice, kindly click on the link in the bio. Don't forget to share this beautiful gospel to your world and tune in again tomorrow for another reading of Rhapsody of Realities. You are blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life 
from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tnimsia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.